Hi guys, Candy Toy Box here. Today you will need some rainbow and clear pony beads. You're also going to need some of these. These are some little balls. All these beads, here I'll show you. All of these beads came in a mixed pack. I believe I got them at Joann's. If you can't find the mixed pack, then you you can use whatever beads you have on hand. But we're just going to be using the balls and stars. You're also going to need scissors, a lighter, a needle, and a long piece of string. And you're going to start with this pattern here. So you start with putting on a purple pink, purple, and so on. And I made both of my strings even on both sides. So once you get all of these on, well here I'll pause, I'll stop for a second so you can see the pattern. Okay, once you have all those beads, on you're going to take one string and you're going to go through this pink and up through the purple and then you can pull this tight and make a knot Okay, now we're going to put our needle on. And I'm going to take my string and go through this pink. And then this string, the other string will go through the purple. Okay, to make this easier, I'm going to flip this over and pull the string over here because I like to build this direction. You don't have to do that, but I just like to do it that way. I'm going to add a pink, purple, blue. getting crazy over here. We're going to add green, yellow, orange, and then pink. So you're just going to compete, or uh, I'm sorry repeat that and then I'll show you how to start the next row on this side okay I'm at the end of my row so every time you start a new row you have to go through two beads instead of one so I added my orange bead and we're going to go through these two pink now you're ready to start your next row so we're going to add pink purple blue and so on so our patterns going in an angle so you can you can see what bead needs to be right here to continue the pattern. I'm going to go ahead and do this row and then I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm at the end. I have my last bead here, which is orange. We're going to go through these two pink. And now we're going to do the same thing we did on the side over here. So we added two rows. Now I'm going to flip this over so I can work on this, this side in this direction. Okay, so we're going to add blue, green, yellow, orange, and pink. 
Okay, so now the pattern's still at an angle, but we're going a different direction. So you can see what you need right here, purple, blue, to keep this pattern going. I'm going to go ahead and do this row, and then I'll be back. Okay, I have my last bead, which is purple. To start the next row, we have to go through the purple and this blue bead. And we can do this row, so green, yellow, You know what, guys? I think I'm going to do another row over here and over here. So a total of three on each side. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, guys, I ended up adding three rows on both, so this is what it should look like. Now, once you get to this point, we're going to continue with the pattern going this way, so... We're coming out of a pink. We're going to add three pink. We're going to go through this purple. We're coming out of the purple, so we're going to add three purple. Go through the blue. So you're going to do that for every color. Three blue, go through the green. Three green, go through the yellow. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, okay guys, I'm at the end here, and I added my last three beads, which were orange. We're going to go through this pink, well, all three of these. And I'm running out of string, so I'm going to go ahead and tie some on. You know what? Okay, I'm going to put my needle back on. Okay, now for this part, oh, you know what? I don't know if these fit through the needle. Oh, yeah, they do. Good. You're going to add two circles or whatever beads that you're going to use that you have on hand. So, I have two pink. The next color is purple. And I don't have blue, so I'm going to use these instead. Go through the green. So you're going to do that all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm also going to do this side. So we're going to do the exact same thing we did over here on this side. When you start this side, you're going to do orange, three orange, three pink, three purple, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and do those steps, and then I'll be back. Okay, this is what it looks like. I have both sides finished. I have one string coming out of the pink and one out of the orange. You're going to take each string, you're going to put clear and pink on both sides. You're going to take a star, both strings will go through, pink clear, pink, and clear.
Okay, so that's what that looks like. Now you're going to take each side of the string and go this side. We're going to go through the... Well, did I skip one here? You're going to go through this pink. And then this side we're going to go through the purple. Pull both strings tight. And that's what it looks like. The next color will be purple. So put clear on both sides. Purple on both sides. A star that goes through both. Purple on both sides and clear. You're going to take this string and go through the purple. The other side will go through the blue. And you're going to pull both sides tight. The next color will be blue. Put a star through both. blue and clear this side we're going to go through the blue and this side we're going to go through the green Okay, the next color is going to be green, so we're just going to do the rainbow. So the next one will be green, then yellow, orange, pink. And you're just going to repeat this all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm at the end here, and I added my last beads, which were these right here. And I took my string, and I went through this orange, and on this side I went through the pink. So now we want to tie these. I'm going to go ahead and take this string all the way across. I'm going to go through these four beads. And I forgot to mention, you want to pull this tight, real tight while you're working. And if you want to go back through, you can pull the star in the middle so they all stick out. But this is what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you next time.